Hi, Cyclist1222 here. I want to show you real quick what I use for a touring bike and how I came about this bike. This is a giant Cypress hybrid comfort type bike and this is my uh, what I use for a touring bike right now. Um, I've always had a bicycle since I was a kid. Uh, back in the 70s uh, we called them 10 speeds. Um, drop handlebars, you know, road style type bikes. So I've always ridden bikes. Um, then as I get older, I got some back problems. Couldn't ride for a while. I just recently, a couple of years ago, jumped on my wife's uh, old mountain bike, rode around the cul-de-sac, rode around uh, the neighborhood a little bit. Um, then I went to my local bike shop and found this one. I didn't set out to purchase a touring bike. I didn't get into touring until after I bought this bike, but it just so happened um, this Mike bike made a great inexpensive uh, touring bike and I like that I don't want to spend a lot of money if you look up touring bikes on the internet and you start researching them for a actual touring bike you're gonna pay anywhere the cheapest maybe six to seven hundred bucks on up to thousands of dollars for a quote touring bike and that's fine um, but you know I don't want to spend a lot of money on on things like that and I love finding great deals and this was a great deal um, this was a leftover my bike shop had it on clearance for 300 bucks great deal it was a regular 380 I think um, didn't know I was going to use it for touring didn't know it would make a decent touring bike but it does um, I'll tell you quickly some of the differences <clears throat> excuse me a touring bike traditionally is steel. Um, it has drop bars on it. Um, maybe a little bit faster than this bike. 700C wheels. This bike has 700C wheels, which I like, which is good. Um, you know, a touring bike may be a little bit uh, beefier than this. Um, I don't like to lean down when I'm riding. I don't like to just look at the the road. I like to look out. I like to see the scenery. I like to have fun. I'm not racing. Um, I want to have a good time. I want to see the sights. So a comfort type hybrid bike, similar to a mountain bike, gives you a more upright position. Whereas a traditional touring bike, you're going to be bent down. Not as much as a road racing bike, but the drop bars are going to have you bent down a little bit. Um, the drop bars are great they give you different hand holds they get you underneath the wind they're great for touring um, I don't not like them it just so happens this is what my bike has my bike has um, they're similar to uh, mountain bike handlebars they're just a uh, flat type of bar they do have a 50 millimeter rise to them um, as you can see the stem is adjustable on most hybrid um, comfort type bikes, you're, you're, you're going to get an adjustable stem. Just get your Allen wrench out there. So if I was going into the wind for any amount of time, I could stop um, and lower my handlebars and I, it'll be a little bit better to get under the wind. So you do have that option there. Um, these bars work well for me. I put some bar ends on them. Um, notice my bar ends are kind of straight up. Uh, most people you'll see bar ends on mountain bikes and, and they kind of extended forward to, to get you uh, more of an extended reach and underneath the wind. I've got them up because I want to even get more upright. It, it stretches my back out, it puts my back up straight and it kind of gives me a rest while I'm riding. Um, so I like them upright and again they're easily um, changed. I could put them forward if I wanted to get under the wind. Not a problem. Um, Another difference is this bike is aluminum. Most touring bikes are going to be steel. Um, steel flexes and gives more. Now I'm, I'm not an expert on bicycles in any means, okay? But uh, generally, steel will flex more. People like steel bikes for touring bikes because it gives you that suspension in the in the flex of the steel. This is aluminum. Aluminum stiffer. Um, another pe reason people like steel for touring, if you're touring all over the world and you're in remote areas, they say you can get steel um, welded and repaired. Aluminum is harder to do that. It's more of a skill to, to um, uh, weld aluminum. Um, but I'm not doing that. Um, I'm here in the U.S. 
Um, I kind of tour locally right now. Um, haven't been on long ventures yet. I will. Don't have the time right now. But on this aluminum frame, if something were to happen to my frame, this is a giant frame, uh, they'll replace it for free. Most frames have lifetime warranties on them if you buy them from a reputable company. So if my frame was to break while I'm here in the good old US of A, I'm not going to get it fixed. I'm just going to get a new one from, from Giant. Um, but if you are going to be remote, you're touring around the world and that's going to be your life, you know, you probably would go for steel. So this is an aluminum frame. It's stiffer, but it has suspension on it. That's what gives the, the comfort to this aluminum bike. It has a front suspension fork, okay, and it has a suspension seat post. <clears throat> Let's talk about the suspension fork for a little bit. Mine's adjustable. You can see it's got adjustment knobs on both sides and I've got mine turned down all the way as stiff as they can go. Um, it still suspends uh, quite fine and it does give a nice um, comfortable feeling to it. People who like to go fast won't have suspension. They don't like the suspension. It gives and it slows them down. It makes the bike less stiff in the respect that you're not going to get as much speed out of it. I'm not a racer. Uh, don't like to race. I can't race. I have no interest in ra no interest in racing anyone. Just want to have a good time, have a nice ride, have a nice tour, be comfortable and enjoy it. So this works out well for me. Um, the suspension seat post. Um, I mean the suspension front fork. The suspension seat post I don't use mine that much and I say that because of the angle of the seat post I'm kind of sitting back on that seat and um, I don't really feel it going up and down that much I, I could change it and put a regular um, seat post on there I just haven't done it yet um, but the suspension seat post if you can get pressure on it downward it will go up and down and um, it will relieve some uh, pressure on your back end one of the biggest complaints of uh, new bicycle riders is there you know takes a while to get that uh, um, bicycle seat toughness if um, if you know what I mean so <clears throat> that suspension seat post will help that um, my seat I, I don't wear bicycle bicycle pants the bicycle shorts the padded ones I don't like them I don't like walking around in them I don't like sitting on benches in them they're very uncomfortable to me I just have a nicely padded seat this is a gel seat believe it or not this is the seat that came with the bike. Um, it's a Velo seat. It wears the uh, giant badge, but it's made by Velo. And it's very comfortable, believe it or not. I can ride 40, 50 miles on this seat, no problem. Doesn't bother me. It's very comfortable. Is it heavy? Yes, it's a little heavier than a ro road bike or a racing bike seat. It's not so, uh, a seat that someone's going to have who likes speed. Okay, again. I'm not going for speed, I'm going for comfort. This Velour seat, <clears throat> it's a Velour or Lycra top seat with the uh, gel in it, is fantastic. Very comfortable, very forgiving. It's got a little depression in the middle to relieve some pressure on your private parts, which works well. And um, it does it for me. Came with the bike, inexpensive, great way to get into cycling. I don't like the pants, I'll talk about that more in another video. Um, <clears throat> so again, this bike has the 700C wheels like a touring bike would or a road bike would and you can tour on a mountain bike, you can tour with 26 inch wheels, you can tour on a recumbent, you can tour on, on anything, um, you know, whatever works for you. Um, I like to be tall in the saddle, I want to try a recumbent someday, but I like to be tall in the saddle because you can see what's coming. You can see over a lot of cars. It gives you a, a better view of what's happening around you. When you're on a recumbent, you notice a lot of recumbent riders have the flag on the back because they're so low. Yes, it's comfortable. Yes, you got a great view of everything. They're nice to ride. They're fun to ride, but they're so low sometimes. Um, it's hard to be seen and it's hard for you to see around traffic. I, I, I don't really like that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, anyways, back to the 700C wheels. These wheels work great. They're 32 spoke wheels. Most touring bikes will have 
36 holes or more for strength that makes sense you're going to carry weight I was concerned about that with the 32 spokes on this bike I have over 4,000 miles on this bike and um, I haven't had any problems I've, I've probably traveled about 2,500 uh, miles with my Pan Airs on here carrying about an extra 40-45 pounds and um, I haven't had any problems. I did have an accident. <coughs> Excuse me. A stick jumped up into my back spokes and uh, broke the spoke, damaged another one. I took it into the bike shop. They replaced the spoke, straightened out the other one, retrieved the wheel. Um, a month or so later, the other spoke went, took it back in. They replaced it, trued it, and I haven't had a problem with it since. Um, I asked them how much it would cost, you know, to build me a a a tougher rear tire for touring um, I say hey, can you do it for under 100 bucks now it's gonna be 200 or more yeah, they said well you know the tires you got they're double walled rims um, they're made well for what they are um, you know you shouldn't have a problem with them the way you ride and your style and everything shouldn't be a problem so I've continued with them and I haven't had a problem they're as true as true can be and they work um, they've worked well yeah, not as strong as some of the uh, more expensive uh, touring style uh, wheels, but um, they've done the job. I haven't had a problem with them, okay? Uh, the tires I have on them are 38 millimeter tires. They're a, a decent grip um, a tire. You can get into some sand and uh, 